there are 440 Israeli colonies in the West Bank, housing over half a million illegal settlers who are armed and have control over 80% of the water in the West Bank. There are 565 checkpoints where soldiers act with nothing but unaccountable impunity. Those settlements are deemed illegal by UN Resolution 2334. Who funds those settlements and where does the money come from? Well, Roman Abramovich, prior to receiving citizenship from Israel, moved $100 million from the British Virgin Islands to Elad, which is hell-bent on ethnically cleansing Sheikh Jarrah and has successfully ethnically cleansed many parts of Jerusalem. Who else funds Elad? The Kalerman Family Foundation. It has funded the Center for Security Policy, led by Frank Gaffney, an organization which is also funded by Raytheon and Lockheed Martin. The Center for Security Policy gave the foundational work to Donald Trump for the Muslim ban. The Kalerman Family Foundation also funded Middle East Forum, led by former employee of the Israeli Ministry of Defense, Greg Roman. Middle East Forum funded the Free Tommy Robinson campaign and as a think tank were quoted 13 times by Anders Breivik following his massacre of over 70 people in Norway. Another organization that funds Elad is the Hertog Foundation. They also funded the David Horowitz Freedom Center, which employed both Katie Hopkins, big round of applause for Israel. Yes, come on Israel. And Tommy Robinson. Palestine, why would you support Palestine? The Hertog Foundation funds the Friends of the IDF and Middle East Forum. The Friends of the IDF had on their board Robert Shillman. Robert Shillman also funded Tommy Robinson. What we see here is an intertwining of interests between Zionist actors around the world who believe that their interests are served by not only funding violent settlement in the West Bank and a war against indigenous Palestinian people, but also pushing domestic Islamophobia within Britain and the United States. We can't expect from the mainstream media real serious coverage that is free from the manipulation of powerful actors. That's why we want you to join Double Down News now on the Patreon and make this happen. Join the future of journalism, join Double Down News on Patreon.